I just woke up, took a shower, about to head to breakfast, and then Reptile Garden, so see you guys at breakfast. <laughs> There are four types of droop. There's the alligator, the crocodile, caiman, and the gharial. And three out of the four types in here. Most of them are the American alligator. Um, we do have a few crocodiles in here. That guy right down there, kind of by the trees, the Nile crocodile. Same with this one right here. And there's a saltwater crocodile with her mouth right open against the glass here. And then we also have a slender snouted crocodile. Right there, behind the saltwater crocodile. Right there. This is exactly what they will do. Nothing. And as you can see, they are pretty good at it. Alright. They found themselves a ball here. Jump for him, he's gonna reach up and give me a nice little kiss here inside the cheeks. I don't want that to happen, so make sure they're all kinds of nice and straight here. <laughs> and then once you're on the alligator's deck, of course, you're gonna get your knees tucked in behind his armpits here, uh, and your feet turned inward behind his hind legs. This, of course, I'll keep the alligator from backing up since that is the first thing he'll attempt to do. These guys, of course, they are an aquatic reptile. Um, you know, they're not amphibians, amphibians like frogs, but are a salamander. They do spend a great deal of time in the water, or some of that time under the water. Uh, they can hold their breath for up to several hours at a time. The length of time, of course, depends on how warm they are, how active they are, that determines how fast they use up their oxygen. I did kind of cut off this alligator's eyes as soon as I jump on it. Um, this course does not hurt the animal. We're going to hold up and cover the eyes of the alligator. He'll sit there, lie motionless. Of course, he thinks he is dead. I kind of speed this up, cover his eyes. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh -oh. Alligator, honestly, he did a great job. I, I think he did such a good job that he almost made me look good. <laughs> And once they hear that sound, you know, of course they know that dinner is served. So they're going to see this meat, of course, as it's flying through the air, they're then going to hear it hit the ground, and after that really is just a matter of a feeling for it. <laughs> oh, okay. Thank you. 
free monitor. Hi buddy.
commonly, it has a yellow tail and three bones. To those of you not familiar with snakes, a snake often appears cold and slimy. It's actually a Burmese python. By the way, although the boa is large as snakes go, it is not really one of the giants. Now this Burmese python, found in Southeast Asia, is not venomous. And this snake uses constriction to kill its prey. The rear fang snakes. And this mangrove snake belongs to the first group, the rear fang snakes. They have large teeth at the back of their mouth that have grooves or channels. So the snake must bite its prey, work it to the back of its mouth, and hold on until the venom runs out of the gland, down the channel, and into the wound. So this snake here is a cotton mouth, also known as a water moccasin. They're found in Southeast USA. And like all vipers, the cotton mouth has very large fangs. So large, in fact, that if they were fixed permanently erect, they would stick out the bottom of the snake's mouth. The prairie rattlesnake. They're very common, but very secretive, and many people live their entire lives in this state and never see one. So I think it's best to let you guys see one here today. Obviously, he's a friendly snake. He's wagging his tail at me. But thankfully, I've been able to dodge everything. <laughs> well, hopefully, it's never anything venomous. Mm-hmm. <laughs>